My name is Dr. Kathleen Holland. I'm a retired pediatrician from Texas in the United States, and I've been working with Ernest for 27 years with Bread for Life. Um, the school was um, built to be able to provide uh, inclusive education and to prioritize uh, children from underprivileged background. I am so happy to be here for my fifth trip to Africa for Bread for Life, to be able to see the progress that's been made over all the 27 years since. In fact, now it's been exactly 20 years ago that I made my first visit uh, and was astounded even then at what he had accomplished because I had known where the limited amount of funds that he had. And, and it's, so it's just always amazing to see how Ernest is able to accomplish so much with as little as he has. I'm Blanca Mavis Lenoy and I'm a special educator. I've been working as a special educator for, this is my eighth year. So uh, what I and my students were doing right now, we're working on, on health science. And the topic we're working on is uh, common diseases, the diseases that affect the, the human system. And the reason why I'm guiding him at this point is because last time we were working on handwriting but I was copying the notes for him but at this time I decided no I won't copy the notes for him forever so I'm guiding him on how to copy the notes from the board. Um, my name is Mr. Tame Kaspar. I am the manager of the school. Um, yeah, um, just to say that we are um, Ray of Hope Academy, Balingwar Nigerian Primary School, situated some 200 meters the, from the entrance between the Mary, the Duala Five Council, and uh, College of the Then uh, we are a special kind of school uh, because we deal with uh, special needs children. Uh, one of the uh, perhaps functioning inclusive edu inclusive school in Cameroon. Uh, we do not discriminate in our admission process. touched and looking for what I was supposed to do in life and God just called me to go and to see what he was doing and I went um, and I was just amazed by the school he had there and the farm and I ended up going back for a three month period of time and taught art at the school, Ray Hope Academy um, and I was so impressed that I went back again this following year in 2023 and taught for six and a half months um, to the children there. Um, at Ray of Hope Academy they not only have children on the spectrum but they also have normal children and um, it's their goal to be inclusive of every child regardless of uh, their wealth status of their brain whether they're on the spectrum or not just seeing the huge need that there is and just the hope that the school offers um, a lot of these families have nowhere else to go and they are just at their wit's end looking for somewhere for their special needs student to go um, and that's what Rave Hope is. They welcome everyone with open arms whether they can pay or not no one is turned away and um, so Madison and I came back and after seeing the need in Cameroon we decided that we couldn't just come home and do nothing so we decided to start a fundraiser called Operation Build Roja, which will um, allow the work in Cameroon to continue. My name is Ernest Tejabe. I'm the founder of Ray of Hope Academy in Douala. Ray of Hope uh, 
was started as a school for autistic children and it has evolved into an all-inclusive school. Um, our goal this year is to raise $300,000 to buy a piece of land in Douala.